This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel. I, I wanted to give everybody an update exactly where we are with the cart motor. This new sub assembly I designed here with this new wheel with the magnets double the strength of the ones that are currently on the cart motor. I'm removing the induction motor that's being used as a generator, a three horsepower motor, as well as that wheel and switching it over to this which will be belt driven so I'll be able to hook up I've got four different concepts for generators that will be strapped to this plus I'll have the ability to use uh, a rig and check the horsepower that's being created by this this rig so uh, it was impossible to do with that setup so this is going to allow me a lot more flexibility and um, it becomes basically a drive system as opposed to uh, a motor generator combination. So this becomes the drive motor and everything is being driven by the belt. I also have the ability to add some type of wheel in here that I can use as an optical trigger. So I can change the type of trigger which this design did not lend itself to that. Uh, very well so by doing this I, I have the ability and the flexibility to make changes that I want so uh, this wheel uh, you, you've seen some of the video shot I cut it out I put a skin on both sides of the wheel and I, I screwed it at evenly spaced intervals to allow even though it has N MDF at the core this plastic will add a little more uh, rigidity to the design it'll give a little bit but it'll also keep it from flying apart I've added a strap on the outside you can see how it's mounted the new magnet keeps that'll run on this wheel this is double those so see, see if I can get an improvement by elongating the magnetic field it's kind of where we're at on the cart motor now I've shot about four hours at this point that's showing how to get this wheel to this point. I have to have time to edit it. I'm still working on this stuff and it, I know it's been about two weeks so I wanted to give you an update how the design is progressing here. This wheel still has to be adjusted, trued in to make sure that there is no wobble in it and it has to be balanced before it can be mounted on that. So. I will be releasing videos as I get the chance to edit them to get everybody up to speed on this design. So that's basically it for the cart motor. Uh, you can see this is the old style coil that was used in the ferrite cores for it. Um, I've replaced these, the style. style right here with this. Basically it's transformer plates like the big cart motor now. Um, and by switching out those uh, coils with transformer plates, uh, I almost doubled the efficiency. So the transformer plates are working great. I, I'm, I'm completely pleased with the performance. Uh, I don't think I'm going to look back. Everything from now on is going to use standard electro steel transformer plates for the motor cores. Um, I don't need to look for exotic materials. Um, it just it just makes more sense to to use something that everybody can lay their hands on. Um, basically, you know, this is a piece of a transformer. And I just cut it up with, with a saw or radiac wheel and cut it the size I need it. And I make them identical. They're of the same weight and the same size so the field strength doesn't vary. The wires are always the same length and the same ohmage. So by making the core the same size, uh, they're identical in every way. So when they pulse it, there's no least path of resistance everything gets pulsed at the same time so you can see here that's a pretty good charge 
So I'm right now I'm using uh, this uh, little rig I set up, just a transformer with some capacitors and a bridge rectifier uh, to charge batteries. So I don't need to flip them. I'm just conditioning. I got this one from a friend here. It's one of these uh, same batteries I use that are tough from cell towers, so telecom batteries. They, they cycle them out every three years or four years, so uh, in case they have a power failure, they don't want old batteries to rely on the cell system, so they cycle them out. So. This is the VMG, or what is used to be the VMG. Um, the circuit board's going on this new motor. I have a small half amp AC induction motor that I'm going to use as a generator tr trying to just get over unity just enough to to feed the energy back with the energy I'm capturing to have a self-sustaining machine that will run more than a month before it catches up with itself so be looking for videos on this this new design is basically using these coils which I originally had on the cart motor using the transformer plates uh, I'm gonna put nine of those around this wheel so it'll be a good charger as well as hopefully uh, I'll be able to pull enough power out of this little small AC cage motor to compensate for any losses in the conversion process so basically the new VMG, the new wheel for the cart motor, and the Mini. Uh, and that's about it. This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel, signing out.